Okay, I will be explaining the reading order for the entire Hellboy series. That includes Edward Grey, the regular main series, BPRD, Ape Sapien, all of that, all the way up until the end. I'm using iBay's How I've Read It on the McNult Versity. I started in 2017, so it's a little different, but it's basically the same. Now, one of the most convenient ways to read Hellboy are through the omnibuses. At least for the most part, some of them are hard to get in, in current regular print and hardcover and all that. So, like things like, so if you, if you want to do the omnibuses, which are no more expensive to get at once, is see instruction like these four right here. From a Volume 1 of Sea Destruction, that's where it all started. And with complete short stories, those are all small stories that all connect in the Hell of Mythos completely. Complete Short Stories Volume 2, same thing. And then Strange Places, not to spoil it, but he leaves the organization and does his own thing, which leads into the the last two omnibuses, the Wild Hunt, which also includes the Storm and the Fury, which is, I'd say, like top five, probably in my opinion, uh, stories. I like Storm and the Fury together, and then Hellboy and Hell. You read that, you would probably read that last in terms of Hellboy himself. Then when you go back to this, if you do the trades, and if you're trying to read the entire Magnolia verse, you would be going through uh, the entirety of the Hellboy series from uh, all, all of this stuff right here. In the sense, see, that's going to be in this. And after you finish Strange Places and all that, you're going to want to go into BPRD, Plague of Frogs, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Really good. Uh, John Arcudi, I think, is the one who writes these. For the most part. I think Dave Stewart, I think, or another artist. It's really good. You would read these right after. You don't need to, but they're, they're some of the best stories. I would and if you're doing paperback that aren't omnibus, you can go to this. The other one is called Wand Hunt. But if you're just doing omnibuses, Play Your Frogs Volume 4 also. Now, Weird Tales, these aren't canon. But they're really. I haven't read them yet, because I've only been reading what's canon. But they're probably really good. I haven't read how, how Co. I don't know, I even know how to. Spell his name, I mean, say his name. PM Deathless or Robago's Feast, but they're probably really good. And, uh, Omnibus for Sir Edward Grey comes out soon. Get that. I'm gonna read that after Plague of Frogs. It's also really good. I'm, uh, then you'd read the rest, like all of Lobster Johnson in this order that you see right here. It's really simple. Lobster Johnson is a fun kind of noir kind of thing. It's kind of like somewhat campy and it's really cool. Sunshine 44, it is a short one collection of stories. Not stories, but they're all they're all connected, of course. But um uh, kind of like an Iron Man type of thing in World War Two, I think it was. Then you'd get the Omnibus Edition, I guess. B Party 1946 through 48, which is basically just three stories. I think Hellboy's in these as like the young Hellboy, but it's mainly uh, Professor Broom. And B Party Vampire, that one's a really fun story. 
I love vampires in this universe. Not a big fan of vampires otherwise. Trades, Burnett Circus, Hellboy and Mesco. I'm not sure if these are in the omnibuses. I can't remember. And there's a uh, Frankenstein Underground. That one's also really cool. I think he fights Hellboy in that. Could be wrong. Then you would read Ape Sapien. On this edition. These are really fun. I like the drowning. Lost Lives and Devils of Jest are really good. Being Human is one of my favorite stories, I'd I say, I think, if I remember correctly, which one it is. Then, Onimus of Wild Hunt, or The Storm of the Fury, and then The Bride of Hell and Others. Then, BPRD, Hell on Earth. If you can, get the Onimus, or just read in these orders New World Gods and Monsters, and then Russia, and then Omnibus is Volume 2, or Devil's Engine, and Long Death, Pigeons County Horror, and others. And our turn of masters. Then, going to one of my favorite ones, Hellboy and Hell. Art, amazing. It's just overall really good. It's almost perfect ending for Hellboy. I said that because it's not the actual ending, but it's really good. Then do BPR, already Hell on Earth. You can also just do Hell, Hell on Hell if you wanted to right after Wild Hunt. And then do BPR, already Hell on Earth if you wanted to. It's not that big of a deal, I'd say. But there's probably some connected events in this part that occur because of this. So maybe I can't remember. It's been a while since I've read them. Then uh, on this or these of Hell on Earth Volume 3. And then the next series of, these are just going to go back and forth of the Ape Sapien series, then Hell on Earth, Ape Sapien, then Hell on Earth. This is where we get to the part where these aren't mainline, but they're really cool stories, besides the BPRD ones. This suggests, on the main anniversary, they suggest that you watch, that you read, <laughs> read all of these. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. If anyone knows, can you say something? Uh, Koshe the Deathless, and then the BPRD Devil You Know series. Then Witchfinder, the newest Witchfinder, and the Rise of the Black Flame, Crimson Lotus, Raspberry Was the Dragon. Devil in BPRD in 1952, 53, 54. And also, I think, and yeah, then The Visitor, How and Why I Stayed. BPRD, 55 and 56. I'd say you could read those all, all before BPRD Devil You Know. Probably. Especially since Ragnarok is the end of the series in its entirety in terms of comically going forward. These are all stuck in the middle. Which is, I, I say they could put these in different order, but I haven't read them all yet, so. Actually, I don't think I've read any of these, especially not these ones because these are currently out, like just coming out. That's pretty much just the easy, not the easiest, but like the most in-depth way. But TLR of the simpler one, simpler terms, get down to business. They're the best in terms of the orders. And once you're caught up with the omnibuses, just run and get all the things that are just one shots and all that. Not one shots, but just short, single trade paperbacks, like the like the Crimson Lotus, Rise of Black Wave, and all those. I think that's pretty much it. And I'll probably leave in the description like links to Amazon or whatever of where you can buy these. I also like to say support this site. Another Hellboy, another more independent comic related places. Sub if you want to, I guess.